Hi everybody, it's Mr. Steve and we are here for another Boredom Buster. Today's Boredom Buster is a pretty silly one and it is called Drawing on Your Head. Now in order to do this activity, which I will guide you through, you need a piece of paper and a book or a clipboard or something that is solid that you can write on. If you need to pause this, now is a good time to do it. If you're like me and are follically challenged, you might want to have a little cushion on your head. So I'm going to put my hood up there and you take your uh, materials and put it on top of your head like that. Make sure you have your writing utensil. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to do a drawing together on our heads like this. So we're not going to see what we're drawing, but you're going to try to Put everything in the right spot and draw it the way you think that it should be drawn. Got it? Okay. So let's start off by drawing just a line near the bottom of your paper and that's going to be where the grass is. Okay. So that should be that. And now draw a house on the grass. Make sure your house has a nice triangle roof and a chimney. Maybe some smoke coming out of the chimney, that'd be nice. Okay, and a door. And how about two windows? If you wanna have window panes in it, you can make couple lines to make four small squares inside your window. All right, good. How about to the other side? Maybe we can draw a big tree. Make sure there's a good trunk and then nice big tree. Yeah. I was thinking it'd be fun if the tree had a hole in it because that's where maybe some animals would like to go. But since you can't see inside the hole so well, you can color it in to make sure the hole is dark. All right, that's good. Up in the sky, maybe we can make a sun. It's a nice sunny day. Let's have the sun shining. Might be a one or two clouds, but they're, they're small. Okay, good. Now, maybe there's a dog that's in the yard. Can you draw a dog? Hmm. Okay. Make sure the dog's tongue is out because he's hot. <laughs> now we need two people. You can make them have any kind of face they want to. They can be smiling, they can be sad, they can be tall, they can be short, they could be kids, they could be a baby if you want them to be. All right, and for, whoops, for the last part that we're gonna do, let's draw some birds in the sky. You can make the birds pretty easy, like just V's if you want to. All right, are you ready to find out how our drawings came out? All right, on the count of three. One, two, three, check it out. Oh, mine is beautiful. How did yours come out? Here, I'll show you mine. That whole time I thought I had drawn this line all the way at the bottom of the paper. But you can see the house is here. The nice windows are over outside of the house. That's a good idea. Oh, there's the dog, which is inside the tree. Um, the people are over here. The birds actually look pretty good in the sun. Anyway, this is a really fun activity. Maybe you could do this with your grown-ups. You could describe something. It's a fun family activity, and then you each can describe something you want to have on the drawing, and you can draw it on your head. We'll see you next time for another Boredom Buster. Bye.